Now that we've seen the basics of what an airfoil is and what its characteristics should look like, let's move on to how we solve for the flow around airfoils and the starting point for this is Vortex Sheet Solutions. So we start with the vortex filament idea, which is a long straight segment, infinitely long in fact, uh, with vortices distributed all in its length. And if we put a bunch of these next to each other, we get a vortex sheet, which need not be flat. You can see that if I connect the point on here, these points on here, then in fact the vortex sheet can be curved, and each of these vortex filaments could have a different strength. And these go off to plus infinity and these go off to minus infinity. But if we look at this sheet from the side, what we get is something like this. We're starting from A and going to B. We have a streamlined coordinate S, little segments DS, and of course our, our vortices are distributed all along this. And at any point, we can say there's some distance R from a point P in arbitrary space to from the uh, between the, the point and the sheet, call that R, and this is going to be inclined at some angle theta, and here there will be a velocity dv induced by the presence of these vortex sheets, and because uh, this vortex has concentric streamlines uh, around it, the contribution at some radius away will be perpendicular to it. So this is the induced velocity dv, uh, and the strength of this sheet is distributed and can be non-uniform, so that it's a function of the streamlines coordinate s. Now, if we try to put this picture together in terms of the velocity potential, We get that the velocity potential is negative 1 over 2 pi times the integral from a to b. There we go, yes. So this is a very important equation. For the vortex panel method. And then, of course, the circulation of the total airflow, just the integral of the sheet strength. And across the sheet, the local strength gives the jump in tangential velocity as you cross that sheet. So the solution strategy for these vortex sheets and using them to model airfoils is if we have some velocity v infinity, we've got an airfoil, 
it's our coordinate s and our vortices distributed all on the surface so the vortex uh, sheet is the airfoil surface basically we want to calculate gamma of s such that the induced velocity plus the free stream velocity the infinity will make this vortex sheet and thus the airfoil surface a streamline of the flow basically we don't want the flow magically entering or leaving the surface of the airfoil so if we do that what does that mean mathematically well what it means is that since we know the circulation is the integral of gamma ds and L lift per unit span is given by the Kutta-Joukowsky theorem then essentially we're done so if we calculated gamma of s we can get the circulation by integrating and use the Kutta-Joukowsky theorem to get the lift but there's no analytical solution to this problem Like so many problems in mathematics and engineering, problems are much easier to describe than they are to solve. So you need to solve this numerically. Which is essentially what vortex panel methods do. Now, in terms of how this works and what is being really modeled, what the vortex sheet approach is doing is modeling the rotational flow that's present in the thin boundary layer around the airfoil. Now if we push this model a little further and say if the airfoil is thin, so that we have the infinity, some thin airfoil, then we can model this as if the airfoil were a single vortex sheet rather than uh, two sheets, one representing both the upper surface and the lower surface. And again, these are not in a straight line, they'll be along the camber line of the airfoil uh, in general. And this is a simpler model with a single vortex sheet where the camber line is a streamline of the flow. Now this is an approximate model, but for a thin airfoil, it's a good approximation. And it, you can obtain an analytical solution for this. And this is the, uh, where thin airfoil theory comes from, which we'll discuss a bit more next time.